Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about uh, how to enable HTTPS with Apache at uh, Ubuntu. So here, of course, you have to get into your Ubuntu machine. And in this case, I'm using the Ubuntu VM. Okay, so let's look at uh, the second step. So in this step, we are going to enable the SSL module. We already did it. You can see from the video here, right? So when we try this command, it shows SSL already enabled. And so anyway, I'm just going to follow the tutorial here and uh, start uh, Apache again. So now we are going to create the certificate. To use HTTPS, we have to create a certificate and a private key for the web server. Okay, you can see here this command is going to create actually both private key and self signed certificate for the web server. So why enlarge the window? You can see here there's some kind of uh, screening mess up in there, so I'm going to just make this smaller and everything looks better. Okay, so I'm showing you all the parameters. You can see here we are creating the private key. Okay, and uh, so we need to change the name. I'm going to change this to my server. But really, you can use any name here. So my server dot key here. So you need a dot key over there to tell this is a the private key. Okay. Again, here I'm going to change the name of uh, the certificate. So this is uh, the certificate for the web server. We should use a password to protect the private key, otherwise every time when you start the web server, it will ask you for the password. So now we are going to actually add the information to the certificate. And uh, so this is a kind of a routine information. And this is very important. As a web server, you have to put uh, either the domain name or the IP address here. So that's why I'm using another terminal here to show the IP address of uh, this uh, Ubuntu VM because we are hosting the web server at Ubuntu VM. So I'm going to copy the IP address here because I don't have a domain name for this uh, Ubuntu VM. This email address is not so important for this demo, but anyway, so when somebody gets your certificate, if they have issues, they can send you emails. So it's necessary put, to put all the information into the certificate for the purpose of identity. So I'm checking if uh, I successfully created the, the two things or not. So one is uh, the private key, the other one is uh, the certificate. So, so everything looks good. So we are going to actually now change the configuration file of the HTTPS web server. So here we have to go to this folder slash dc slash apache2 slash set available. And uh, so there's a template over there and uh, for SSL. 
configuration. Okay, so let's go over there and to have a look. I'm going to now go to another folder so you can see I already did something I remember here the zero zero over there is actually for HTTP and uh, so the default dash SSL was actually a default configuration for SSL I remember I changed this one a little bit but anyway so we can just change it, this again So to change this, I want to just uh, become the root. So I use the sudo su to become the root. So I'm going to use nano to change this configuration. Okay. And you can see I'm just copying the default one to my server.config. consistent okay so the file is over there let's change it okay so here the first line here is okay virtual host star four three means whatever name we are okay So we have to tell we want to enable SSL engine. We also want to specify the path to the key and uh, the path to the certificate. So the key is the private key of the server. So as a reminder, I didn't put any password to protect the key and the certificate. So we save it. Nothing else to change. So now we need to enable this uh, actually HTTPS web server and uh, so here really you don't need to actually put uh, the path to this computer file. I found if you put it over there it, it could be wrong. So just put uh, my server dash config it'll be good and uh, so you can see it's successful. Now we have to restart Apache, but uh, before we do that, let's check if uh, the configuration file is okay or not. So everything is good. Okay, now let's restart Apache. Since it should be good. So we are going to test if everything is okay or not. So the IP address of uh, the web server is this. Okay, so it looks good. So I'm going to test it again using another browser. So now you can see here, there's some warning here because uh, I didn't uh, import the certificate of the server to this uh, computer, and uh, that's the warning. So it looks uh, we already done with the configuration, and everything looks good.